What is Atlantis? Atlantis may be fictional, but it has a considerable impact on literature. Atlantis is an island which was first mentioned in Plato's works Timaeus and Critias. Atlantis represents the antagonist naval power that besieged ancient Athens. Plato describes Atlantis as an island nation located in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, populated by a noble and powerful race over 11,000 years ago. The people of this island possess great wealth because of natural resources found throughout the island. The island was a hub for trade and commerce. The rulers of this island held sway over the people and land of their own island and well into Europe and Africa. Atlantis was the domain of Poseidon, god of the sea. As per the myth, Poseidon fell in love with a mortal woman, Cleette. He then created a dwelling at the top of a hill at the center of the island and surrounded the dwellings with rings of water and land to protect her. Cleto then gave birth to five sets of twin boys, who became the first rulers of Atlantis. The island was divided amongst the brothers, with the eldest, Atlas, first king of Atlantis, was given control over the central hill and surrounding areas. At the top of the central hill, a temple was built in honor of Poseidon, which had a giant gold statue of Poseidon riding a chariot pulled by winged horses. It was the year that the rulers of Atlantis would come to pass judgment, discuss laws, and pay tribute to Poseidon. For generations, the Atlanteans lived simple, virtuous lives, but slowly they began to change. They became greedy and powerful. As the Atlanteans grew powerful, their ethnics began to decline. Their armies eventually captured Africa as far as Egypt and Europe as far as Tyrrhenia before being driven back by the Antlians led alliance. Greed and power dominated them. When Zeus saw the immortality of the Atlanteans, he gathered the other gods to decide a suitable punishment. Later, by way of divine punishment, the island was beset by earthquakes and floods and sank into a muddy sea. Soon, in one violent surge, it was all gone. The island of Atlantis, its people, and its memories were swallowed by the sea. Until the late 1800s, Atlantis was just a story. Then an American named Ignatius Donnelly became fascinated with the story and studied flood history from Egypt to Mexico and believed that Plato was recording an actual natural disaster. Ignatius wrote a book called Atlantis the Andalusian world, which became a bestseller. Since then, many books have been written about the lost city. The most believable theory of Atlantis came from the Greek archaeologist Angelos Galanopoulos in the late 60s. He theorized that around 1500 BCE, a massive eruption from a volcano ripped apart the island of Santorini in the Mediterranean and probably wiped out most of the civilians on the Greek islands and the regions of Greece. Angelo suggested this disaster is the one that sank Atlantis. If this is so, then he must have had his dates wrong. Or does he? He reasons that when the story was being translated, the Egyptian symbol for 100, which is a coiled rope, was mistaken for the symbol for 1000, which is a lotus flower. This changes the date from 9000 years ago to 900 years ago. The only thing wrong with this explanation is that Plato specifically said the city was near the Pillars of Hercules, which are thought to be nowhere near Greece. The exact location of the lost city of Atlantis is still questioned by many people. British Royal Air Force photo interpreter J.M. Allen believes that Atlantis is in Altiplano near the Andes Mountain in Bolivia. Edgar Cayce, the famous psychic Chandler, believed that the remains would be found off the coast of Florida near Bimini Island. Some think it's lost somewhere in Central America, 
the China Sea or Africa. Others believe that Atlantis is nothing more than a myth. So what do y'all guys think about Atlantis? Is it fictional or real? Comment below and let us know. And don't forget to subscribe for more Big Bang Facts.